Hi, my name is Aiten Eliasaki, and I'm a licensed professional counselor and life coach with Naya Clinics. Today, I wanted to talk about the five hacks that will help you improve your communication. Have you ever tried to express your opinion about an argument with your partner and feel like the harder you try, the more it gets complicated and you're left even more frustrated than before? You feel your opinion is dismissed. You're not heard or understood. Over time, you start to feel detached and disconnected. You're not the only one. This is a common challenge in most relationships. Relationships are not always easy. There's no doubt about that. There's no magic exilar to make relationships work because each relationship is unique in its special way. So what do you do? In this video, I will discuss the five hacks that will help you improve your communication with your partner that will let you successfully navigate your relationship challenges effectively. Hack number one, listen to understand. Instead of listening to think about what you're going to say next, practice active listening to truly understand your partner's experience. Active listening requires you to step out of the conflict, suspend your reactions so that you can connect with your partner's deepest needs. And here's how you can practice active listening with your partner. Pay full attention to your partner. When they're talking to you, keep eye contact to let them know that you're paying attention. Listen to their tone of voice, the words they choose to use, the facial expressions, and body language. What are they trying to tell you, and what are their unmet needs? Do not interrupt them when they're talking. By not interrupting your partner, you're sending them the message that you hear them and what they're trying to say is important for you to understand. Lastly, verbalize what you heard your partner say back to them to make sure that you are on the same page. There's a slight gap between when someone says something to you and how you perceive it. To ensure you understand your partner clearly, repeat what you heard them say to get that validation. Hack number two, slow down your communication. Sometimes the message gets lost in communication because the dialogue is moving too fast. If the same argument continues to surface in your communication, this is an indication that it was never resolved. This can be very frustrating and may leave you wondering if it ever will be. By slowing down your conversation, you create an opportunity to analyze if what you're arguing about is the same thing. For example, you may be thinking that the argument is about the dishes, the dishes not being done, while your partner is actually arguing about not feeling appreciated. Slowing down your conversation will not only help you identify the root of the argument, but will also help you work together, not against each other. Hack number three, use I statements. Use I statements to describe your thoughts and feelings about a situation. Avoid using you statements because they essentially disengage you from expressing your experience and creates an imbalance in communication where the focus shifts towards blaming and criticizing your partner. This is more detrimental to your relationship because it causes the conversation to become defensive. Using I statements creates a safe environment to share your experience with your partner, and it invites open dialogue to allow your partner to engage in conversation with compassion. Using I statements puts the focus on you 
and not on anybody else. So it gives you the power to express yourself through your lens. So use I statements and as much as you can avoid using you statements. Hack number four, be aware of your emotional triggers. We all have emotional baggage from our childhood, from our past relationship, or even just the past experiences that we carry into our current relationships. This can be a result of a past traumatic event or an unmet need. Past traumatic events and unmet needs form emotional baggage which we carry into our future relationships. Oftentimes, our partners are not aware of our emotional triggers, which leaves them more perplexed and distant. By recognizing your emotional triggers and naming them, it helps your partner understand there's more at stake beyond your current conversation. This allows your partner to connect with you and have more meaningful conversations. Hack number five, practice empathy. Know that your relationship dynamic is always, always changing. As you continue to grow with your partner, what used to be will not always be. Being empathetic is about stepping out of your shoes and into your partner's shoes to see the situation from their lens. It permits you to begin appreciating a reality that's different from yours. When you respond empathetically, not only does it enable you to embrace your differences, it also fosters a sense of safety and trust between you and your partner. This welcomes the possibility of a stronger connection and encourages mutual growth. So there you have it. The five hacks to improve your communication is number one, listen to understand. Number two, slow down your communication. Number three, use I statements. Number four, be aware of your emotional triggers. And finally, number five, is practice empathy. Give these communication hacks a try and explore how they can support you in improving your communication with your partner. If you find yourself struggling to do this alone, feel free to talk with a therapist. The therapist can provide you with insights into navigating your challenges. Thank you so much for watching and I hope these hacks help.